Hey all, how's it going? So this is uh, for those who were doing a little bit of research as I did on how to actually use the construction script but on C++. So for those who are not familiar with what the construction script are, basically it kind of builds the actor before you know you actually, uh, you know, before it's, it happens before the begin play. It, it's like, you know, while constructing the actor. So in this example, for example, I have this, um, simple class, like simple actor class with a overlap, like a trigger box around it. And he has some pickup info, like, and that information is basically how to, you know, to interact with. And so far it's just a simple HUD, as you can see, just like whatever button you need to press, which is not still program, but, and what is actually is the item name. Uh, so it's basically that. And so it's pretty simple stuff. And, but, as you can see, those actors are around the entire map and they have different meshes, they have different attributes and they are built into real time. Uh, and those usually are, those kind of things are usually done under the construction script for the blueprints. On the C++ on the other hand, there is also a, this construction script. However, they are inside of the actor. If you look for unconstruct, There we go. So on construction, so that's the function that calls the construction script basically. Um, if you look for a construction script, you're probably gonna find, but those is gonna be like the blueprint notes. So if you could look for a construction script, for example, under the oops, script, you're probably gonna find, but uh, I forgot where they are. Oh, there we go. So this is like the node that is being used right now into blueprint, which is this user construction script, which is basically a blueprint node, as you can see, is a implementable blueprint implementable event. On C++, on the other hand, so if you want to do that, that's the function you want to call it. So what I did basically is into my actor class that I want to do a construction script, I just grab that declaration and I override that. And as soon as I create the definition for that function, what I did basically then is pretty simple. I just call a super on the function itself. And then I load whatever I need to into. So I, I'm using the the asset manager into the Unreal Engine. So I'm using like a data asset file, uh, which contains like all of my skeletal meshes, static meshes, and you actually pick up information for me. So basically, what I did, I just load that it that on. I load my data asset, and if it you know I'm successfully load that asset, then I load whatever I need to my skeletal mesh or my static mesh. And that should be about it. Let me just put a log because I don't want it to be a warning in that sense because that not necessarily is an issue because I may have an, an item that is a skeletal mesh and I have an item that is only static mesh. So that's not necessarily an issue. And well, that's pretty much it. So whatever you want to do under your uh, construction script, just do on the C++ under that on construction function for your actor. And as I prove that that's working, what's basically this is doing is just loading that asset and setting the skeletal mesh for me. And as I prove as that that's working, as you can see, I have under the class defaults, I have to specify my data asset. So if I specify a data asset over here, it should load that into runtime. So if you go for this, I'm gonna delete this one. So real quick, let me just delete all of them. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. So if I drag one of those, which should be somewhere under the blueprints, inventory, pickup master, oops, pickup master. As you can see, there's nothing in it. So I don't need like multiple pickup classes. I can just use one. And based on that class, I can just load whatever data asset I want. So if I want a sword, for example, boom, that's, that's there. If I wanted a shoulder pad for my, like a clothing piece of my character, boom, that's there. And that's quite simple. I don't need to, you know, create a multiple pickup classes or anything of the sort. Just create one, create a bunch of data assets, and those data assets are gonna feed in into my pickup class, and that's gonna work perfectly for my inventory. And the good thing about using construction script on the C++, it's stupidly fast. It's stupidly fast. I mean, C++ is a lot faster than Blueprints. So for Blueprints, when you're using construction script, sometimes you need to move around in order to actually load the asset, that's not necessarily a thing on C++. As you can see, as I change that, 
it kind of, oops, crap, there's nothing, there's no ID in it. But basic shit, as I change that, it kind of changed automatically. I don't need to move around in order to, to rebuild the construction script. So that's a, a plus under uh, on doing that on C++ instead of the blueprint. Um, Another good thing though, is since I'm using data assets in the asset manager, and I'm probably gonna do a video in the future about it, is that the asset manager on the URL is pretty robust. So I can load whatever item I want to into the memory without necessarily need to spawn in that item anymore. So that's a pretty, uh, in the past what I would do, it would, I would need to create like a bunch of pickup classes. And inside of those classes, I would need to have all the actual game, gameplay info. Instead of that, I can just create those data assets. Don't need to spawn any of that anymore. I can put all of my you know attributes for my pickups into it, like the meshes, the icon, and et cetera. And once I do that, I'm pretty much set up. I don't need to spawn anything. I can just use spawn this basic pickup class, set up this data asset to it, and that should be about it. And if I pick up this basic shield, as you can see, and if I pick it up, and I go to my shields tab, there we go, my shields over there. So it's a pretty simple stuff and pretty simple solution on how to do a construction script under the C++. So just do it on construction, whatever you want to do in the bullet points. Hope you like it. See ya.